everybody, Garrett here again with Deranged. Hope you enjoyed our first video of our little mini series on the dash teardown on the T4. Now it's about getting the fuse box installed so we don't have to run all of our wires down to the battery anymore. So let's jump right into that. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and leave the comments below. Other than that, let's get started on this fuse box for the T4. Okay, so we pretty much have the fuse box wired up, and like I told you before, you want to keep all your wires on this side of the machine. And the reason I say that is, is you run your power wire over here, ground wire here, and it all comes down to the battery. But basically, of course that will be out of the way. When I want to pull this off, this will come here and all the wires will go with it. So basically it will come off just like that. I use these, these are 10 pound indoor outdoor Velcro strips waterproof, they're more of a plastic, they don't have all that material Velcro crap. And I've got them stuck on here, and then that way I can pull this off, it's out of my way, and I go, go ahead and work on the air filter. And then when I'm done, I just line them back up, pop it on, and you're good to go. And then they have the cover that sits on this as well, and it just latches on. What I like about this location, because I was really thinking about a different location um, as I was looking around the different machines and you know you can screw stuff in or you can screw it down here but then you have all that mud and dirt but honestly up here right where everything's at it's going to get dusty somewhat but a lot of the mud and stuff doesn't make its way up here unless you're in deep deep mud of course. Um, that's a little bit different but at the end of the day this really keeps it out of the area of getting really dirty and all that kind of stuff just dust. And we ride a lot of dust here, so I have a few more relays to hook up. Um, but as you can see, I have stereo, all that kind of stuff. So they do come with a label. And let's see here. Oh, it's here somewhere. So here's the stereo one. So you can pull that off, clean that up a little bit. Pop that on and there you go. Now you've got your stereo fuse. We've got the light bar. We've got the cube lights in the back. 
Um, I'll have the rock lights, cab lights in here as well. Um, the winch I kept to the battery still. I didn't change that up, but I actually kept all the extra winch cable and I had it wound up here for a few weeks after I installed that just so I could keep it because I knew I was going to use it because it was nice and, and perfect, good cable to use for my fuse box. So I've got the power cable and then also the ground cable all, all from the winch so it worked out perfect. And as you can see I heat shrinked everything and it's all nice and tight. I've heat shrinked all these and the way I'm running them is all clean. I'll get that taken care of real soon. But at the end of the day, this is gonna work really well. Here's my winch extra stuff that I've gotta clean up, so I'll do that towards the end here as well. Um, other than that, that's the fuse box. It's pretty much set, ready to go. You'll put that wire down there while you're running. And remember, you keep all your wires on the same side, that way you can just pull it off and move it, but it's not gonna go anywhere. So, anyways. Have any thoughts or opinions on that? Let me know. But other than that, there's the fuse box for the T4.